All right, and we are outside here. As you can see, it was really noisy in there, but out here we got a little bit quieter. We've got a lot of traffic coming in. We got some vendors out here, and we wanted to show, uh, uh, talk to our friend Mike and uh, talk about some of the stuff. How are you doing, Mike? Hey, thanks, Tim. <laughs> hey, how are you guys doing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I'm Mike Martin. I am a web doc on uh, KLOV. And my boys, uh, I guess it was Monday, they came and said, uh, can we make perlers for the uh, SFGE and sell them? I said, well, we can ask uh, the boys if we can put a little table up and they let us do it. Um, how many boys do you have? I got two, and they're supposed to be here managing this table. Yeah, I see there. I, I, I see who's managing. Mike's over here with a baseball bat. He's not letting. Nobody is lifting a. Really, wow. Wow, yeah. Mike just told us that all these were made by his kids in the last week so they could bring to sell at the thing, and that's a pretty good accomplishment herself. And itself, and the, the boys must have been really working hard on that. Uh, they also, uh, uh, for the auction, they've donated a, a full Miss Pac-Man set. So it's got Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, all the ghosts, a blue ghost, and all the, the fruits. Well, I know that makes you proud. So it looks like they did a great job. And these are really cool. So uh, I know we, we always like like game room art and stuff like that. Because, I mean, like I said, what fun is it to have a games if you don't have all the other nostalgia and stuff to go with it? So anyway... So a custom one here at the show if somebody wanted one. Sorry, we didn't bring the stuff to do it. We didn't bring the stuff to make the perlers, but uh, I was thinking maybe they should do this as a little summer project and do some uh, some uh, toppers. Like, I would love to have that on my burger time. Oh, yeah. So, uh, how did they get into this? Was it just like a craft they learned in Boy Scouts or something? Or just, what, I mean, was it just arcade games that kind of drew them into it? No, no. Uh, it's just something they've been doing for a couple of years from time to time, and I don't know why they thought of it this week, but they did. Well, they had a great idea. Uh, we appreciate uh, their hard work, and I think that it adds a lot to the show. It adds some fun, that I, and you're one of the first things that people see. And I know it caught my attention and stuff, so tell your boys, good job. It's good to see you, Mike. Nice to meet you. Glad you got to come this year. Oh, thank you, Mike. Oh, well, you got expecting trouble. He just gave me this, and the, and the ball will go with it. Oh, well, got a bat and a ball. We're, we're right near Atlanta, the Atlanta Braves, right? So, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, good to talk to you. We'll go on around and meet some more other people. Thanks. Take care, man. <laughs>